Supreme Court Justice Robert Jackson, our chief prosecutor, spoke for most of us. If you were to say of these men that they are not guilty, it would be as true to say there has been no war, there are no slain, there have been no crimes. Oh, perhaps about a month, during which when the judges were in their chambers, they were going over the guilt or innocence of these people. And they did a very conscientious job. On October 1st, 1946, after 315 days of trial, the sentences were pronounced. Herman Wilhelm Goering, on the counts of the indictment on which you have been convicted, the tribunal sentences you to death by hanging. Joachim von Ribbentrop, death by hanging. Fritz Sauko, death by hanging. Julius Stryker, death by hanging. Wilhelm Frick, death by hanging. Hans Frank, death by hanging. Alfred Rosenberg, death by hanging. Wilhelm Keitel, death by hanging. Ernst Kjartanbrunner, death by hanging. Also sentenced to death were Yodel, Seiss Inquart, and Martin Borman, who was tried in absentia. Hess, Funk, and Rader got life prison terms. Speer, von Schirach, von Neurath, and Dernitz got long sentences. Three of the defendants were found guilty. This is Arthur Gates reporting from Nuremberg for the Combined American Network. I was an eyewitness to the execution of the wilted, spoiled flower of Nazidom, but I only saw ten Nazis die. Wilhelm Hermann Goering, guilty on all four counts, the man whom Justice Jackson described as half militarist and half gangster, escaped his fate of hanging by committing suicide at 10.45 last night, less than three hours before he would have been executed. Nuremberg stands firmly against the resignation of man to the inhumanity of man. This brings us to the point that the really the most important thing that was achieved at Nuremberg was not the conviction of these men and not the sentences imposed, but the determination for history that waging aggressive war is a crime. More and more, the world must turn its hopes to the legacy of the trials at Nuremberg and examine the sturdy instruments of justice forged there for new and inspired use in a world where justice is still too rare.